Rohan Thomas. He tops a, an event with the best deck, just like I did, except he did it with one Electrum, and now he thinks he's better than me. So what are we going to do? We're going to get a girl to clean my room because she didn't do it last time, and then we're going to call this kid out, and we're going to wreck him online. So if you see this, Rohan, Pen for Rod Thomas, me versus you. I'm calling you out. And I'm not using just any deck. I'm using this deck I'm going to show you guys right now. Doriado Piles making its comeback when I destroy Rohan Thomas. And after I destroyed this kid, the skinny little tryhard thinks he's all nice. You can't match with me, bro. You can't match with me. Me versus you. And after I wreck you, Jeremy Mitchell, you're next, bud. You want your match? Well, you got it. Let's go. Pen God versus Rohan Little Thomas. We're dueling. Let me know when you get this message. In today's video, I'm going to be using the very deck I'm going to use to destroy him with. Doriado Pals. Enjoy the combos. Doriado Pal combos. Deck is not dead. Still does some crazy stuff. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so today's video, as I said, yeah, we're going to roast a little Rohan Thomas who sucks. But, we're also going to be showing you guys Doriado Pals in action. You look at our hand here. It's a pretty good hand, but it's pretty bad as well. We do have Chronograph and Shrine, which is obviously great to have, but we do have two Bricks in Jackal and Lizard. Duelist Alliance will get us our... One sec. Multitasking here, you know. But, Duelist Alliance will get us uh, the Pendulum Sorcerer, which we need one of Sorcerer or Doriana to do our combo. So, we're going to... Right off the bat, we're going to use Shrine. Now, we don't need the second Turbo card. We really don't. So, Chronograph Pretend is not even there. We're not even going to use Chronograph. We're going to literally use it just as a high skill and nothing else. So, we're going to activate Shrine and put Worm Grave, Special Worm, at zero, etc, etc. Everyone knows that already. Next, we are going to activate... So, zero is going to be in the low skill for sure. We're going to activate that. Then, we're going to activate Duelist Alliance to get Pendulum Perform Power Sorcerer. Because there's a Pendulum in his name. So, the point of the deck is simple. We're gonna, we want to Pendulum Summon, Pendulum Perform Power Sorcerer, and we want to Pendulum Summon Dark Doriado, getting a bunch of pluses in the process. So we're, instead of using Chronograph over here, because we want to keep all the skills we, we can possibly get, right? So we're going to Normal Summon Sorcerer. We're going to Summon Sorcerer and get Electrum. I was testing this combo just before, so this is just a test combo. It's not a duel. It's not a duel, it's just a test combo. Don't forget that. We're going to be doing duels later. I want to show you guys how to actually do the combo first so you understand it. Electrum now is going to send... We already have the one Sorcerer in there. So it's going to send Dark Doriado. Simple, right? It's going to send Dark Doriado. And next, we are going to put... Let's say just put a Jackal there. Electrum popping the Jackal. Adding literally anything. It does not matter. Uh, Probably adding back the Jackal. Like... Actually, sorry. No, 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 no. We're gonna we're, let's rethink this. So we're gonna want to pen jump Doriado and Sork. What do we not want to pen summon out? We could pop the lizard, pop the jackal. Add that. We're gonna uh, activate the lizard draw. There's a lot of different reasons to uh, put something the lizard draw here instead of the jackal. So we don't want to pop the corner guard for the zero because we want those to be in the scales, right? So we're going to use Electrum to pop lizard. Uh, because it, let's say it got hit by impermanence, you want to at least be able to pendulum summon. Uh, your uh, Doriado and Sork, right? So you want to at least have this to be high scale, the one, uh, the red scale. So we pop this or uh, that to uh, pop Blizzard to add anything we want here. We'll add, for example, we'll just add Dark Worm. We'll say we'll add Dark Worm. All right, boom. So you got Dark Worm. Not that it matters. Uh, draw to draw one card. So we draw a card. It's Time Gazer. Uh, it didn't matter at all. We just uh, wanted it was an extra card to add in our hand. Now we're gonna activate the Chronograph. Uh, the high scale. Now we're going to pen summon. Pendulum summoning two cards from the uh, extra. And pen summoning the jackal from our hand. Now sorcerer will trigger. Popping both of these. Uh, should we, let me think if I want to pen summon one more. So it'll get the two. No, just pen summon two. That's it. Pendulum two. Or destroy two. <laughs> so sorcerer will destroy two. Doriada will trigger. Making Sork, Sork uh, we want to be channeling 2, Doriado channeling 1. Uh, adding Turtle and Lizard. And Doriado now stacking a Water, Earth, Fire, Wind. So we're going to put Droll, Ash. We have Bell in there if we want, but we don't really need it. And a Sorcerer for next turn. Now stacking them all. 
Adding the two hand traps. Turtle Lizard. Getting Jackal with the counters. Draw. Get the rank four. Boom. Exactly normal. Just so you give any rank four you want. Uh, literally anything. You got bare hand traps. Now I want you guys to look at what the meta is. All right. We'll just say tornado for now. Doesn't you can put anything? Tornado, dweller, whatever. I want you to look at what the meta is. So, uh, Ash is okay. In the uh, droll destroys this meta in my opinion. You're seeing strikers everywhere. Ash hurts the meta. You have everything you need. You get Bell if you need to. Bell hurts a lot of decks as well. Hurts Thunder Dragons. Uh, this is a meta call. Doriano Pals is a meta call. We have access to Droll, access to Ash, access to whatever we need. We have all the access we want. So, the deck is amazing, man. It's This is the time to play Doriano Pals. This is the time. A searchable Droll absolutely obliterates Strikers. Imagine going first and just search, like, searching Droll. Any deck that searches Droll against Strikers is an auto win against them. They cry. Throw back to our first video of us destroying uh, Strikers. Remember this video? When I told you Strikers suck? And some of you guys didn't uh, believe me at the time? Strikers actually do suck. All you need is a little droll. At the time, we everyone knew Strikers suck. Now, Strikers got so much, uh, so much power. So many people think Strikers are good now just because uh, everything else in the meta sucks except Pendulum. People aren't playing Pendulums. So, it's my duty as a Pen God to show that Strikers are the best, are, are the worst deck and Pendulums are the best deck. So, good luck, have fun to Strikers. If this is Striker, activate Engage, Droll. Good luck, have fun. They're not playing Call by the Grave when I'm playing Pendulums. We're good. Easy W, no problem. You even got to think to beat this matchup. All right. So, don't, I don't want to hear no garbage uh, Strikers are too strong for me, etc., etc. Thunder Dragons suck too. They lose to a, a correctly timed Bell. They, you could search Bell instead of this. We have Bell in the deck. We have Bell in the deck. Like, Thunder Dragons are, are absolutely garbage. We could have searched Bell if we wanted to uh, instead of the Ash. We could have also done a lot of different things here. Where we could have uh, gone further on into our combos. We could have special more stuff. We didn't even summon these two. What if this is a level 4? We'd have a 5th negate here. If we drew into level 4 instead of Gazer, this would be another rank 4 if we had it. This would be another rank 4 if we had it, right? If we drew a, a level 4 into it. Like, our hat, we didn't even use Chronograph. We drew into the Time Gazer. If we played a rank 3 interruption, we had a rank 3 interruption with the original lizard draw and the time gazer with the chronograph and scale with the one we drew. We could have had a third interruption if we play a rank 3. We're probably going to play a rank 3 interruption from now on. Because why not? Because we can. Because we could. That's how good this deck is. 5 interruptions easy. The deck is too strong. Too many options. Unbeatable. So, that's it just for the combo. That's a generic, generic combo for the guys that don't understand. We're going to now take it back to... How it looked like before uh the generic combo these are all in our hands we had one more card in our hand uh what was it or was it just like this I, it was like this exactly so we have four cards in hand and the top deck that we stacked the card that we stacked was a sorcerer so if you're gonna look at it now uh no matter what happens on our turn we're gonna have scales again we're just gonna pen summon again it's that simple it's actually really powerful and we have even if they get rid of everything we have our hand traps we have our field we have a full hand and we pencil someone again. So, you can't do anything about it. It's a fantastic deck, I'm telling you guys. I'm going to show you guys more about actual in-depth com uh, in duels. It's just a generic combo of Sorcerer and Doriato. Still leads to four interruptions, no problem. Your opponent quit the duel. That's just me right there. I just have my second account out there so I could uh, do test combos. But, it is incredible, guys. I'm telling you, the deck is fire, especially against Strikers. So, the video is going to be done now. I'm going to head out, but... Hope you guys liked the video. We're going to do another video tomorrow. Maybe Roland Thomas will respond to us. Uh, will he respond to me bare times? Trying to talk bare smack online. I told him, bro, kid, you're nothing. But I accept your challenge. So link, link me. We'll duel. See you guys in the next video. Peace.